What's good, e-bikers? Let's talk about dual battery e-bikes. Uh, they're getting kind of hot out there, and I've got a list today, a quick list of six different dual batteries uh, for you. Dual battery rides that uh, will cost anywhere from fifteen hundred bucks to twenty-five hundred bucks. All right, so I put these in the affordable uh, dual battery e-bike category, and let's run through them real quick for you. So. First up is an e-bike that uh, I've never used, seen before, but it's called the Gosen Q7. And this is the most uh, unique design out of all these dual battery ones, I think. So it's got two batteries, uh, 31 amp hours total, they're 48 volts. And one of the batteries is in the down tube, but the other is in the C post. Let's go here. So you can see here, uh, it's got a traditional, uh, you know, kind of electric XP style frame. Folding frame right here is the first battery. Second battery is right here in the C-Boost. Um, 750 watt motor, 1000 watt peak. Here's a dual battery system. So there's a 13 amp hour here in the down tube and a 40 volt 18 amp hour in the C-Boost. Uh, the only downside is you won't be able to put any kind of suspension C-Boost on there, but there is a, it is a suspension e-bike as you can see here. Very reminiscent of the, uh, the friend e-bikes uh, overall. But that's a pretty unique way to put two batteries, two batteries on an e-bike, um, where it only looks like one battery, essentially. So I think that this design is interesting. I don't know how good the e-bike is. It's only $1,500. Uh, let's see, it's got rear suspension. It's got a front fork. It doesn't look very big. It doesn't have a draw of brakes. So $1,500, that's well, a pretty good, pretty good price point for two batteries like that. Um, here's the battery switch. Okay, you can turn the switch to F to activate the front battery, turn the switch to R to activate the C2 battery. So, wondering if it doesn't have a dual battery connection there, a dual battery connector to uh, train both at the same time. But, uh, interesting design overall. I mean, uh, something pretty neat. Oh, there's a rear light under the CPOs there. Kind of makes sense. And uh, that's the first one. So, gosenbike.com. Uh, I'll put links in the URLs and all these, of course. Uh, but that's the first e-bike on the list, and it's only fifteen hundred bucks, marked down from two thousand ninety-nine. So um, there's a lot of affordable e-bikes on the market today. I think because of the economy, you're seeing a lot of price cuts out there, and uh, now it's a great time to buy one of these um, dual battery e-bikes. All right, let's move on to uh, electric because they have two of them now. Um, they have the Expedition, of course, the new cargo e-bike with two batteries. Then we've got the X Premium. Let's take a look at the Expedition first. 28 amp hours of total battery. Right here, back to back, 214s basically. 1699. So uh, next affordable um, e-bike on the list uh, is the X Premium, uh, the Expedition. Uh, I have this e-bike. Haven't range tested it yet, but they, they claim. Some pretty good range here with this. Uh, the motor is a retuned motor. They say it's more efficient um, uh, with the new uh, power system here. Uh, their pedal assist wattage regulation allows for an improved pedal assist experience by assisting the rider up to a certain power level of each PS setting instead of limiting the assistance by just speed alone. So it's more efficient. So if you're already like, you're traveling and your momentum's already carrying you, it's not gonna need to give you a lot of speed there, so it should be more efficient, they say. So we'll test that out as the uh, weather warms here in the east. Uh, I just wanted to uh, run through the uh, other e-bike they have, which is the X Premium. Let's take a look at that. And uh, let's see here. So I know that I know the, there's a 14 amp hour here on the back. I think this is a 14.2 in the down tube. Let's just move towards that. So two 40 volt lithium ion batteries. There's a frame battery and the auxiliary one. And these drain simultaneously, I believe. Um, 50 mile range throttle only, they say. That's probably on flat ground only, so keep that in mind. But that one, this one is also, what's the price in this one? I think it's, $16.99 as well, $15.99, so it's a little slightly cheaper than the uh, the cargo e-bike if you want that. All right, so that's, uh, there's three e-bikes down. Next, moving on to the Hauchi Antelope Pro, just had this on the channel recently. It's got uh, 25 amp hours of battery, 
Uh, I think this is a 14, and this is an 11 down here in the down tube. And this one goes for $18.99 is the price. There's the first battery. Here's the second one here. Uh, yeah, 25 amp hours total, 48 volts, of course. These are all 48 volt uh, uh, e-bikes, which is sort of the uh, standard these days. Here's the two batteries. They work simultaneously as a new battery system to extend the range up to 55 to 80 miles. Um, and I think uh, I got around 50 miles in real world driving with these things. So there you go. That's the how -chi. Again, I'll put, link to, I'll put links to these in all the descriptions. So uh, check that out. Uh, Walkie has two. They're essentially a step through version and a step over version. Um, so this is the H6 step through. This has the most battery uh, on this list, so 35 amp hours. This is a massive, <laughs> massive uh, battery e-bike. Uh, let's take a look at this. And they have a, a step over version, which is here. Let's take a look at the step through version, which is the newer one. Let's see what that price is. $24.99, okay, so that tops the list of the, uh, the pricing here. but. That's the most battery, so it should be the most expensive, I think. Uh, pretty interesting design. It looks pretty heavy. Let's see here. We've got uh, yeah, 16 and 1,680 watt hours of power. That's just crazy. Um, I mean, this thing should go. It says 170 miles in PS1, I think it says there. Let's see. Yeah, 170 miles total range. Wow, that's crazy. $24.99. Uh, let's check out the description on this thing. There is a discount here. It looks like you can save four to eight bucks uh, on one e-bike. So that brings the cost down to about two thousand bucks. Now through March 5th, it says you can save 480 on Walkie HT 86 e-bikes as well. So pretty good deal there, two thousand bucks. Um, this is a heavy e-bike though. I, I believe it's like close to over it's over 90 pounds, I believe. Let's see here. Components and info. Yeah, by weight 90 pounds. But uh, if you're commuting, man, this is like a this would be a great commuter e-bike. Look at that uh, huge uh disc brake there. That rotor. It's dual suspension as well. I mean this has everything you need in the in the e-bike essentially. Uh, for two thousand bucks, that's that's a really good price uh, for this walkie. They have pretty good um, displays, uh, a lot of data on there. This one folds as well, right? It's got Kennedy Crusades in there. Here is the. It looks pretty low too, um, from that perspective. Five seven to six four is the range there on the. Max load capacity, 350 pounds. E-bike weight, 94 pounds, it says. So I'm not sure which is right there, but that's the walkie. Around 2,000 bucks, that's a pretty good price. And, and the last one on the list is actually my, my favorite looking. I love the style of this e-bike. This is the Blitz Ultra, $24.99. Come back, I think they're out of Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I love the design of this e-bike. It's uh, just really cool looking. Love that frame. It's got the V battery placement here with the uh, on the back seat post and the one the down tube. 26 by 4 tires. Um, and Blix makes some really nice bikes, so uh, check them out if you are in the game. So there's the Blix Ultra. I was going to buy this before I bought the Kepler, but um, uh, I think I bought the Kepler more for price. So, uh, But this is a really nice e-bike, um, if you ask me. Modular design, you can put all kinds of stuff on it as you can see here. And check out blixbike.com if you're in the market for one of these. Two batteries totaling 1334 watt hours. So I'm not sure what the breakdown of that is. I don't think it really says here, but uh, it has an app as well. And uh, Blix rounds out my list of dual battery e bikes that are affordable for the market. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. Chris Frost. Thank you.